Johnny Depp is now appealing the single win Amber Heard earned in their stunning defamation trial last summer. In June, Johnny Depp was granted $15 million in damages, including $5 million in punitive penalties, which the Virginia judge capped at $350,000. In sum, he is entitled to $10.35 million. The jury determined that former Depp attorney Adam Wallman defamed Heard and awarded her $2 million. Now TMZ reports that Depp is challenging Heard's win. In July, Heard filed an appeal of Depp's victory. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp beef is back on. Yeah, you heard it right. The counter appeals are the only latest twist in the media sensation of the Fairfax County, Virginia, the trial of Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. When the trial was in oral arguments this spring, the nation was riveted. Vanity Fair said that the court TV showed the trial, it increased its midday viewership. Hashtags related to the trial have regularly trended across Twitter as fans watch and discuss the celebrity case of the year, its messiness, its scandal, the glamorous movie stars at its heart, and the dilemma of what to believe and how much. This was a hazy, difficult trial. While it was ostensibly a defamation trial over a newspaper article with Depp suing Heard and Heard counter suing Depp, at its center was one enormous conflict. Amber Heard claims that Johnny Depp abused her. Depp said that Heard abused him. So what's the truth? Surprisingly for our post Me Too society, both the jury and the internet's strongest voices overwhelmingly supported Depp. This is despite the fact that Depp has already lost a similar case in the United Kingdom. And while there is convincing evidence that both parties and this marriage were violent, it is far from certain that Heard was the principal aggressor. Depp possesses a more prominent public profile, despite the fact that it's been over a decade since he released a true critical success. He's produced a sufficient number of lauded works throughout his lengthy career to earn himself a reasonable lot of goodwill. Heard attributed Depp's victory to his profile in a statement. I'm heartbroken that the pile of evidence was insufficient to combat my ex-husband's excessive power, influence, and sway. She said, I'm even more disappointed by the implications of this judgment for other women. It's an obstacle. It turns the clock back to a time when a woman who spoke her mind was publicly embarrassed and humiliated. This undermines the notion that violence against women should be treated seriously. Depp, who has starred in films such as Edward Scissorhands, Donnie Brasco, and numerous Pirates of the Caribbean sequels, has been nominated for three Academy Awards and twice awarded People's Sexiest Man Alive. At least for a time, he was one of those individuals who are so bankable that they appear to be able to get away with anything. A white man who's a true A-list sex symbol, George Clooney, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Johnny Depp were among his peers. Throughout the 2010s, as Depp's film career dropped, his personal and financial issues began. In 2017, Depp filed lawsuits against his longtime business managers and entertainment attorney, alleging that they had mishandled his finances. A notorious Rolling Stone profile from this era portrays Depp as a fading and delusional icon, cut off from reality by his wealth, celebrity, and massive doses of drugs. According to Rolling Stone, he is a punchline bankrupt, isolated, and one more error away from being blackballed from his business. Heard, on the other hand, was on the verge of becoming a household celebrity when she met Depp for the first time on the set of The Rum Diary in 2009. At the time, both were involved with other individuals. She received her first prominent role as a supporting character in the 2008 Judd Apatow stoner comedy Pineapple Express. The release of The Rum Diary in 2011 marked the beginning of a new era in her career, portraying the romantic interests of A-list celebrities. Heard then went on to portray significant roles in 2015 films such as Magic Mike XXL and The Adderall Diaries. In 2017, she was cast in her most prominent role to date as Mira, the Aquaman franchise's queen. All of this suggests that at the time of their meeting and during their marriage, Johnny Depp was well known to the American public and Amber Heard was not at all. Moreover, their connection coincided with Depp's protracted and highly visible decline. By 2012, Depp and Heard had ended their respective relationships and begun dating. In 2014, they became engaged, and in 2015, they tied the knot. Heard then filed for divorce in 2016, she filed a request for a restraining order four days later. From there, everything else would follow. Here's your guide to the Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard trial. What we know, what we don't know, how everyone involved is spinning their story, and what it all means for the future of how we discuss gendered violence in the post Me Too era. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.